The Snyder Cult is doing exactly what I assumed they would do, and Ann Sarnoff and Warner Brothers said what they would do, is do cult things. Let's go. Gracias por ver la esquina de Jody. Thank you for watching Jody's Corner. YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. Thank you guys so very much for being here. Sadly, the Snyder Colt is back and they're on the attack. They're attacking King Kong versus Godzilla because they're not getting the Snyder verse. Now, I'm going to break this down for you guys. I'm going to give you guys my opinion on the whole matter and I'm going to provide some clarity here because a lot of people wonder, like, Jody, why do you not want Zack Snyder to get his uh, Snyder cut? This is what they used to ask me when I was going against ever releasing the Snyder Cut. Because, you know, besides some insider information that I know, it's basically what I know about what, what uh, Zach wanted and what I know what the fans wanted. Now, uh, I'm not going to be yelling and all that because, you know, we got the W already. And Sarnoff is my hero, and she put out the news that we're not getting the Snyderverse and we're going to move forward to the bright and beautiful DC Universe. So I'm going to be talking about this Snyder Cult, which is the toxic side of Zack Snyder's fandom. Now, mind you, wholesome, good Zack Snyder fans who just wanted to see his, his movie, you got what you wanted. You got a W. Congratulations. I am not talking about you guys here. I'm talking about that toxic, mean, hateful side of Zack Snyder's fandom that Zack Snyder himself fuels. That's who I'm talking about here in, in this video. Okay, so please, I'm not lumping you all together. I know that there are good Zack Snyder fans, and I know that there are toxic ones. And the name that I've created for these toxic fans are the Zack Snyder cult. So let's go ahead and give uh, 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 some, some evidence of why I said for years why I was against Zack Snyder's Justice League ever coming out. Now, I understand some Zack Snyder fans would be like, dang, man, that's effed up. Why don't you want his vision? Here is your answer. I never wanted Zack to get his movie because I knew it was never really about the movie. Because I know that it was all about this latest hashtag. This hashtag that they're talking about now, Restore the Snyderverse, that was the ultimate plot. Based on the article, the video I put out with the exclusive about the, the plot to take down Warner Brothers, which has been proven so far as true. We see these events in the future. Jody Damas. Zach always wanted to get back in Warner Brothers to get his position back. He didn't. He could care less about Zach releasing that Snyder cut. He don't care about that. He cares about it, sure. But that wasn't his main goal. His main goal was to get back in Warner Brothers and to get back at the people who ruined his shot for him when he was shooting Justice League and was criticizing him for BVS. Jeff Johns, Joss Whedon, Walter, um, uh, uh, other unnamed people, uh, and um, uh, Kevin Sujihara, right? So he wanted to get back to make more movies. This was about not Zack Snyder's Justice League. This was about all of the other movies that he could make for DC. And for the fandom, it's the very same way. Zack Snyder's fans, most of them, did not want just the Snyder cut. They want Snyder to take over DC again. They want him back in the position that he was in in 2013. That's the overall objective. Because I knew once you give up this Snyderverse, you're going to cater and cave to fans, giving the mouse a cookie. And now with Restore the Snyderverse, they want their glass of milk. And here's to Jody Domus and prove exactly what I've been saying here. So let's take a look at this. Some Zack Snyder fans are bombing Godzilla versus King Kong. And here is why. Let's see what why they say is. So uh, certain Justice League fans are dropping negative reviews for Godzilla vs. King Kong in an effort to convince Warner Brothers to authorize the restoration of Zack Snyder's DC Extended Universe plans. This new campaign of Restore the Snyderverse, which is toxic in itself, has been picking up steam as of late, and Twitter users have now become aware of the review bombing of Godzilla vs. Kong is currently experiencing. Look at some of the stuff that's here. Someone said, if you're one of the people who are giving Godzilla vs. Kong a one star on IMDb because, oh, sorry, uh, because you want to restore the Snyderverse, something completely unrelated to Godzilla, I hate you. That's, I'm not with that, but look at this. This is a one star rating for the fans, us united, boycott, wow, boycott Warner, the fans decide justice for the Snyderverse. Another one star. 
Restore the Snyderverse, Us United for the Fans, Boycott Warner. While the reviews all consist of 1 out of 10 star reviews from IMDb users, the actual feedback applied to each review has varied. Some directly call for audiences to boycott Godzilla vs. Kong in an effort to convince Warner Brothers to resource Zack Snyder's DC film saga, and others even include actual quotes from Snyder's superhero films. Here are some helpful reviews of Godzilla vs. Kong. Look at this guy. You don't need to have a silver bullet. If you forge one, you don't need to depend on the kindness of Warner Brothers. Restore the Snyderverse. One star rating on King Kong. They have not seen it. They already, they're bombing it. Review bombing has unfortunately become a common thing with certain films over the past few years as some viewers who choose to do it, let me throw this over here, with some who choose to do it for one reason or another, Rotten Tomatoes has experienced this very thing in an aggressive, an aggression site even sought to make changes in an attempt to combat trolls. So yeah, guys, this this is a, an unfortunate. They're making the case for me. They're not happy that enough that they got the Snyder cut. They got that Justice League movie. They want to take it even further, and they want to get the whole Snyder verse. You when you let the inmates run the asylum, this is the type of stuff that you get. But what's what is fueling this? You know, naturally the fans are fueling it themselves. But then I look at this post right here, and this is someone saying, yes, restore the Snyderverse. And this is Zack Snyder replying, we do it the old way, ready my armada. That's Zack Snyder fueling them. Guys, this is why I say Snyder cult, uh, Snyder's fueling his fan. He's using them in order to wage war against Warner Brothers. It's, it, this is, it's not good. It's not a good look for Zack. It's not a good look for the fans. It's not a good look for us, DC fans, because, you know, in, in correlation, we're all kind of tied to one another. So it's like, it's sad. It's sad to know that that quote, by the way, that you see here is a quote from Zack Snyder's Justice League when Darkseid was going to try to make his way to Earth to fight and have a war. He said, we'll do it the old way. So that's kind of what that means. Like, you know, egging on the fans to be toxic. He's fueling them to be toxic. He loves what these toxic fans are doing. He loves what his cult is doing. He absolutely supports it 100%. And this right here is proof of that. It's irrefutable proof of that. He supports Restore the Snyderverse. He wants to be back in position. And that's why I'm Jody Damas. And that's why my, my leak, my source, everything was true. What I said about what I had, the conversation with Clay Enos and the people that I've talked to at Warner Brothers, I know about the plot. I know about their desire to take back over Warner Brothers. And this proves it. And I believe that Ann Sarnoff and the executives over at Warner Brothers prove it. So this is what's weird to me, guys. Like, if you really want to get the Snyderverse, like, that's what you want. Do you think that these toxic negative behaviors that you guys have been uh, showing on the internet is the way to get things done. In fact, I believe you're just doing our job for us. You are helping me. You're helping me and all the other millions of DC fans who just want to move forward. You guys are making our case for us. You guys are exposing yourself as toxic. Zack Snyder is exposing himself as a cult leader, the cult leader of his own cult. And it's just, it's fine. You know, I'm perfectly fine with you guys doing this. This is what I expected. I've been at war with these people for five years. I've been called all different kinds of things, you know, I've been wished death upon worse than a terrorist. I had a, a daughter who passed away and they cursed my dead daughter. I had a dog who passed away and they cursed my dead dog. I mean, it goes deep and far. Uh, they hope I died, get COVID, call me many of N words. You know, it's tough, but it's something that I'm willing to fight for to get that W. And we got that W. Thanks to Supergirl and Sarnoff. But here's the plot. Even though Ann Sarnoff has officially rejected the Snyder cult, many of the fans are saying, we have one last bit of hope left. So Ann, Warner Brothers, if you guys are watching this, here's what their last bit of hope is. They're putting all of their chickens, ducks, hens, goose, or geese and a goose, uh, roosters, uh, everything into one big old basket. And this big old basket that's going to save them and give them redemption, so they believe. His name is Jason Kilar. They're capping to Jason Kilar to overrule Ann Sarnoff like Jason Kilar overruled Warner Brothers and even released 
this film in the first place that caused this toxicity to inflame times five. So they want Jason Kalar. We still think Jason Kalar could save us. He could save us. He could still overrule Anne. Well, let me ask you guys. Jason is watching this, right? He's seeing how you guys are acting. He sees that you guys are review bombing and ruining King Kong versus Godzilla, which is a much bigger film than Zack Snyder's Justice League. And if we're talking objectively, Jason Kalar is much more excited and he and this is a much bigger film that he has money invested in. This film has to perform. Jason Kalar needs this movie to do well. And you guys are ruining it by putting out, you're trying to ruin it by putting out these negative reviews and lashing out against something that Jason Kalar wants to be successful. This is irony at its finest. You want the person, Jason Kalar, to save you, but in your efforts to make him be come to your aid, you're targeting something that he loves and wants to succeed and trying to make it fail. If Jason Kalar is seeing this, which he is, he doesn't want to have anything to do with you guys after this. You think he's going to come and try to save you by the way you guys are acting here? Absolutely not. You guys are just, you're, you're doing everything for us. And I couldn't be happier because I knew that this is the type of stuff that was going to happen. I would say it lasts for about six months. I gave it six months. So we got the news about Ann Sarnoff saving the world uh, two weeks ago. So we got to about October, somewhere around right there. You know what I'm saying? Around October, November. We'll be clean and free moving on to the future of DC. And they'll kind of get the picture that, okay, it's, it's not happening. So Jason Kalar is the last person that's going to come out and make a statement, I'm sure. Uh, condemning these fans, I believe, in some type of tweet or statement, I believe, in the near future. And then that will finally put it to a rest because that's what I believe needs to happen. Their last hope, Jason, is that you overrule them. So, Jason, this is what you do, especially since they're review bombing your film on HBO Max, which you desperately want to succeed. You need to do like Ann did or do like you want to do. However you do it, come out and condemn it. Condemn the toxicity or confirm and have Anne's back and let the world know you agree and you support Anne and we're not restoring the Snyderverse. You guys need to be united. Anne is at the top. I understand that, but you need to be with her. You know what I'm saying? You know, you need to work with her and let her know that you support her decision. Warner Brothers and Warner Media and AT&T need to be in unison here in order to, so that we move forward to the future. So that's my advice. And guys, put down in the comment section what you guys think. It's always going to be reject the Snyder cult because I've been, you know, attacked by them for five years. It's been a long war and I'm glad that it's over, but I'm just covering this news to let, to continue to, to let the world know that we can't let this stuff run amok in our fandom. This toxicity and this hate and this, this childish rhetoric, this is childish, bro. Like this is just childish. So put down in the comment section what you guys think. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And Sarnoff, you my hero girl. <laughs> and Sarnoff and Patty Jenkins. Those my gals. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing. Deuces!